hi guys welcome back to my channel it's edna here i wasn't sure i'm going i was going to do a video this week but i just decided maybe we should have some story time since i was a bit down because of losing a friend of mine so may her soul rest in peace we used to school with her back in high school when I left, I was appointed a chair lady while I was in Form 2. So, when it came to Form 4, at least that weight of those responsibilities were not so heavy on me. So, by the time I got to Form 4, they used to call me Bishop and I was also the acting secretary for the team that was getting or that was existing. So, when I left Form 4, she was among the team that we selected to take over. And she was in the department of hospitality and we weren't i don't think we were we were we weren't so close when we were back in high school but after finishing school we ended up going for a bible study that was same since it was the civil patron who was taking us through back in high school was coordinating the the bible study so we ended up meeting and you know hanging out more i remember we used to walk back home together so that's why i kind of got a little bit like fond of her so yes so she passed away last week so may her rest may may her soul rest in peace and because of that i ended up not doing a video yesterday which was on sunday because i was going for her um, Matanga, that, that is what we call here in Kenya. When someone dies, you go and visit their homes before they are buried. That is what we call Matanga. Those who are watching me from India, USA, that is what we call Matanga. So, Matanga. I hope you are pronouncing it well or struggling to pronounce it. Anyway, let's get right into today's video. So, I wanted to do just a video and keep my promise. So, two videos per week. Let's wait for the aeroplane to pass. And I love this mug a lot, a lot. Green is tending to get into me, I don't know why. I'm trying to get fond of color green for some reasons. I've not yet done my hair, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's get into the video. So, I wanted to talk about things that my exes did that made me feel that made me feel like it's part of what a relationship should look like yet is it really i don't think it is like right now where i am i'm very sure that those things were very toxic and you know yeah and if you if you are one of my exes watching no hate by the way you are all playing a role in my life to come into my life whichever season you are in and i'm very grateful there is definitely a lot of lessons that i've learned from my exes so don't feel attacked this is where i am right now and these are some of the things that were made to for me to feel normal and they weren't so number one that is very huge and is still making a like an effect on my current relationship or yeah dating life right now is the fact that one of my exes we will not talk maybe then for a week yeah in the hashtags of no one has airtime then maybe the next week he will call and we will talk like you know there's no beef eh? you know you're supposed to understand there there's no airtime to call yeah so somehow i used like it became so common until i, I got used to it i got used to you know if he's not talking or he has told me oh but then i don't right now i don't have airtime we will stay for weeks without talking and the moment we start talking it's like no one should be apologizing for me for disappearing for some time so the way it is it has or it is affecting my current like dating life is that sometimes i'll want to check out from someone i'm dating and I won't tell them that because I've dated people I was enjoying dating and 
I don't think that feels great if they told me that. So I tend not to tell them that I need a break. You just take your own break at your own, you know, your own decision and your own time. And you disappear for some time. Maybe you don't pick calls, you don't respond to messages, you, yeah, you mute. Then when you go back, like when you go back now, the system I was used to, the person tends to complain and is telling me, ah, no, me, me, I'm not used to this type of relationship. Why, why are you keeping quiet? And I'm like, it's supposed to be okay. It's not like we are broken off. I was just taking some space. I'm like, some space for what? Am I nagging you or what? Yeah. Yeah, that ex of mine. Yeah. That is one toxic trait that my ex says used to do that that is one ex not me that's the one one used to do that and it has affected me right now i guess because i also dated him for a very long for a very, for some years so that's why definitely it's not an excuse we are working on it so another one that maybe i'll talk about is um, the fact of or the existence of that happening it's made me feel like it's okay if it's okay if my boyfriend or someone who is my boyfriend yeah someone who i'm dating not checking up on me every like one hour two hours so i ended up dating a guy who was checking up on me like an hour and i was like whoa do you have friends no this is very toxic and from his point of view he was like i want to spend time with you i want to always talk to you like i'm enjoying your company where you it's like you're giving me timelines of when to talk to you or you know yeah i ended up breaking that guy's heart by telling him you know you go find someone you're going to give that, all that attention to because for me i was feeling like you know i'm being marked with attention for this certain person like that person wants to be around every second some, maybe maybe it's to some extent it's some aspects you know some aspects of, of being obsessed with you but for me i used to feel like i'm being you know strangled with the attention this guy needs from me so that is one most toxic trait that my ex is used to do that has affected me the long run or you know another one maybe i'll talk about it is um, the fact that I made it possible or easy for um, I, I don't think I really understood myself then when that relationship was going on so I would allow some comments like you know you look better when you get slimmer like this and you look like this then it never used to offend me but right now like I would be very offended if someone was making such suggestive ideas to me and especially to my ears. That would be very offensive to me. So I'll say that because after some time in dating someone else who like really adored everything and I've talked about it in another video is the fact that I allowed it to happen. Because now when I met someone who is like a daughter, I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Like, mm. like, when you have been ever dated, like, you don't like slim or you don't. It was some, it affected how somehow my self-esteem a little bit. Another toxic trait, I would say that my ex is, you know, did but made me feel like normal. But were they normal, really? They weren't, yeah? Yeah, they weren't. I think I made it very comfortable for this one specific ex to not make effort to make the relationship entertaining and interesting enough. So I made that person very comfortable to lay back and yeah, lay back and just rest. Yet we are not, you know, like the society puts it that when people after marriage, that's when like maybe a guy rests somehow to pursue a woman. So in my one point of view i'm like i was not even married and this guy was already resting with that he has this chick and yeah that was another one
and i'm not saying like you give pressure to the person you're dating but like try and tell them what you working on what you want in this year and this month and let them work for help you be accountable for it because now like i will say the person that i was talking about that left to another country in so many ways has made me to realize that i was missing out on a lot because for he for his case someone is coming for his case he was he was repeatedly telling me if you need something tell me if you working on something tell me so that i help you to be accountable for it but else in the rest of the relationship i never you know i never had the luxury i never even expressed myself that openly so that's why they probably didn't happen and it felt like normal and you know for him even him telling me to be open to telling him such things it was from a point of you're not telling me anything so i don't know what you're working on i can't push you to to do better and you know and i was like what so the rest of the relationships i've been in people are just resting and you know you leave yours i leave mine so yeah that was another one mm. Another one I would say. Um, hmm. Trying to figure out another one. Or maybe I can put part B of the video because I can see my memory is almost done. Or maybe have someone else also have their opinions of the video. And yeah. So, guys. Uh, maybe let me think of a last one. If the camera cuts off, just you know, do a part B of this video. So, um, another one would be I'm trying to remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 